Octopus CRM tutorial and review LinkedIn automation. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Octopus CRM. Now, this tool is specifically designed to be able to be linked with LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is one of the largest platforms out there. If you're looking for a job, if you're looking for an internship, if you are just looking to build your professional portfolio, LinkedIn is the place to go because LinkedIn has all of the resources that can provide you with a valuable portfolio that you can share with other people where you can find jobs and actually be able to look at your prospects. Now, there are a lot of things that you would have to do by yourself and octopus crm can help you in simplifying that so to get started with octopus crm you have a free trial and they have multiple different plans available so if you go with their monthly billing they start at nine dollars and 99 cents however if you do choose to pay annually their starter plan will only cost you six dollars and 99 cents per month this includes personal crm with stats auto invites and ability to connect with premium LinkedIn users, which if you actually do go ahead and look at LinkedIn premium like this. So if you take a look at LinkedIn premium, you would actually have to pay for LinkedIn premium anyways. And if you want to get the features of LinkedIn premium, you can, you might as well just get them with Octopus CRM. So let's go ahead and proceed on Octopus CRM. First off, you're going to go into octopuscrm.io and click on free trial over here. Now, once you click on free trial, click on add to Chrome and click on add extension. Now, this is the Chrome extension and now you can click on the top right puzzle icon. Once you click on the top right puzzle icon, you want to pin Octopus CRM. Once you do that, you will click on refresh on your particular LinkedIn page. I'm going to log into my LinkedIn account first like this. And as you guys can see, uh, once I have logged on to my LinkedIn account, I can click on the top right over here and then click on refresh on my particular page. So I'm just going to wait for this to be synced up and I will enter my email address on Octopus CRM and then click on send over here. Now, once you do that, you are going to open up your mail and you're going to verify your account with Octopus CRM. It might take a couple of seconds for your mail to arrive. So once you've done that, you're going to click on confirm my email. And once you do that, you will see the details of how, you know, you're supposed to be using your particular software on Octopus. Now, one thing to note is that you guys can see you're going to get a basic email. You have a few different features. They have automated connection requests. They have requests by email, bulk messaging, first level connection, the auto endorsing skills, auto view LinkedIn profiles, advanced analytics and campaign performance metrics, CSV files addresses as well as phone numbers and connecting your Octopus CRM to over 2000 softwares, including HubSpot, Google Sheets, and more. So what we're going to do now is we can actually click on the top right over here. And as you guys can see, once I open up my LinkedIn account, you can be on any page on LinkedIn. Let's just search for a job. So psychology, let's just do that over here. And once you search for jobs over here, you can click on the top and you can see a few different options. If I want to connect, message, visit, or endorse. So I want to maybe create a campaign, which might be internships, and then click on create and then choose my campaign. And then I want to send users from, and I want to take my particular CRM and I am just going to insert my particular users. Uh, so just as an example, I'll just take, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for psychology and then we're going to look for people in psychology. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into my CRM and I'm going to send them to internships. And then I want to send hundred profiles. And let's say I want the connections to be second level connections, show results or any connections. I'll just show results, locations. I can select any locations, companies, and 
add other filters as well but now i can go into the top right into my octopus crm and then i will select the internships campaign and send a hundred of these profiles so these profiles will be imported to my octopus crm now if you want to visit your crm just click on crm on the bottom and just like that you will see your crm over here this is my crm you will see on the left you have a dashboard you have a connect section a message visit and endorse section now this will help you in managing the potential leads that you have so if you are connecting with a couple of people you can choose to bulk message them and then you can also go on ahead and choose to visit and endorse certain people as well and all of that can be done very easily with these lists and if I am doing some headhunting, it can be a great way for you to, you know, headhunt. So if I go ahead and search for something else, let's say I want to search for managers like this. And you guys can see you have a bunch of different people over here. Now with this, I want to start looking for maybe people that are working in this bank over here. So I can add that filter. And let's say I want to, you know, poach, you know, people from a different business. So I can do that from here. I can select the campaign, add them to a campaign, which would be my poaching campaign. And I might want to message these people. I might want to connect with these people. This just really depends on your end goal, how you are looking to accomplish your end goal. And it could really be anything. This is a very diverse kind of tool, which can help you in finding out the particular people you want. So let's say I want to search for marketing. And once I search for marketing over here, I can search for the type of people we want. So I want to search for not jobs. I want to search for people over here like this. Now, once I search for people, you guys can see I have a bunch of different people. I can click on all filters and I want them to be in this particular location and i want them to at least have gone to either one of these schools and i want them to be working in and then i want them to be working in english with like this so i'll just click on show results and now this particular filtered list of people i can go on the top right over here and then i can send these into my crm and then just in bulk message visit or endorse so in this way you can get started with the octopus crm which is a all-in-one linkedin automation once you have post your people chose you know the people you want you can click on the top right to edit the edit the campaigns you can build more campaigns as you go and you can also go on ahead and enter Integrate some other tools to make it easier for you to be able to automate your processes with LinkedIn and Octopus. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video